So Dave, thank you for coming to London. It's my it's pleasure, I love London. I'm, I appreciate it's a trip out here, but thank you for making it happen. It's awesome to have you. Yeah, Anytime. Yeah. They have a jewelry, store, a jewelry store here for me. Yeah, Asprey's of London, <laughs> <laughs> if only. <laughs> Your keynote was amazing. It was the, the best talk I think I've seen you do so far and I've seen quite a few. Oh, I appreciate um, it. And it, the hall was packed and in fact it spilled out into two of the breakouts as well. So it's like... Definitely standing room only and super enthusiastic audience. It was, you could tell there was a community of people, not just a mm. bunch of people in a room. Yeah, yeah, we worked really hard to get to the right audiences. and So yeah, it's bigger over here than I think you guys realized. <laughs> oh yeah. People really care, and it doesn't really matter where you live, having that ability to control your biology and mm -hmm. not be tired. And mm -hmm. I, I see the obesity problem here. Uh, you know, Tom Watson uh, was here, one of the MPs, mm -hmm. uh, and same, yeah, same thing there. He, he's looking at this saying, why did I carry all this weight? He lost all the weight, very public about it. Mm -hmm. And so why is England? You know, why, why, is, why is this a problem? And it's, it's basic things, and they're things that you're hacking. Yeah, yeah, mostly. There's a way around everything. It's just a matter of finding it. I think, yeah. uh, I think it's a systems thinking approach to a, a biological bit of equipment. Correct. Um, so, yeah, so I've got a few questions I'd like to run through um, with you. So I was just like, how would, you define, how would you define biohacking as of now? Well, when I, I first made the term, I, I really carefully wrote this definition. I sub it memorized, and it was the art and science of changing the environment inside of you and outside of you so that you have full control of your own biology. Mm -hmm. And I still stick with that definition. Mm -hmm. Now, Merriam-Webster's dictionary added biohacking as a new word in the English language, and my name was actually there in the dictionary, which was crazy. Uh, but they use a slightly different definition that was broader that included editing your cats to glow in the dark and things like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm not gonna say that isn't biohacking, but I just might call that gene mm -hmm. editing. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, there's also a group of people who say I'm going to, uh, we call the grinders, I'm going to implant homemade electronics in my arm and I don't really, I mean that, these are the universal things you could do, I just don't know that that's really advisable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting, I mean I think that's where my next question was like how do you think um, biohacking fits into the health optimization mindset, but I think when I created health optimization as a term, it's like so many people were saying, oh you're a biohacker, what's that? And I was like, well, and they said, is that when you have like a chip implant in your arm or something? And I was mm -hmm. like, no, 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 it's about optimizing your health and like so you can perform better. And it was like, and it actually came down to my mum one day. I said, I've built this meetup group in London of like 500 biohackers. This is before it grew even crazier. And she said, what's a biohacker, Tim? And I went, well, it's someone that uses data and science to optimize their health. She said, well, why don't you call it that? And I went, I'm a biohacker that optimizes my health and thus health optimization was born. So obviously for, for the audience and people listening is like, how do you think biohacking for you fits into health optimization specifically? Because obviously there's Sure. I, I don't know that you can say there's a difference. Health optimization is a more sanitized, safer term for biohacking, mm -hmm. but it also means that maybe it can be more accessible. Mm -hmm. There are people who say, I'm not going to a biohacking conference because I don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. But if you were to say, hey, did you want your health to be better than it was before? Mm -hmm. They're going to say, okay, I'll go. Mm -hmm. Right. So there's a general market for health and wellness. Mm -hmm. The problem is that a lot of people are tired of the same old stuff. You know what they tell you? Eat less, eat more really cheap, crappy processed foods that are low in fat and, and run every day. And what they create is malnourished, tired, exhausted mm -hmm. people with bad sympathetic response. It doesn't work, but that's what health and wellness is. Mm -hmm. Or let's eat you know, kale and, and a bunch of other whatever <laughs> random plant-based things that do not work. Mm -hmm. So that's what it can mean. And that's why I wanted biohacking to be radically different. I think health mm. optimization mm. is more approachable mm. as a term for that same idea that's like, hey, did you want it to be better mm. instead of this, I want to be healthy? Well, I think that's where it fits in for me. So I, on Oxford Street, when stopping people in the street and saying, because I, I am an avid biohacker, I'd like to say one of the more extreme ones apparently, but um, the thing is when we stop people on Oxford Street and say like, are you into biohacking? Like 99, over 99 percent, even I think it's about a tenth of a percent in the end was like, I don't know what that means. And it's like, okay, do you want to biohack yourself? No. What about optimizing your health? And like 95 percent of people said, yes, I want to optimize my health. Mm -hmm. So it made it more accessible. The other four people, when we said, a uh, percent, sorry, we said, what about family or a loved one? And they went, yes. So 1% mm -hmm. were just too busy, they're in their work mode or whatever. Right. But the point is, it, for me, it was like broaden the term, 
get people mm -hmm. to understand what biohacking is with health optimization, then they become biohackers to help spread the word for biohacking. It, it's a way to, to help people come in the door. Mm -hmm. And it, it's funny because, I mean, your grandmother was absolutely a biohacker. Mm -hmm. and she, she knew, oh, if you eat the chicken soup or whatever the things were, different foods, mm -hmm. different things, different times of day. Mm -hmm. And we just lost that knowledge because we, we got really big egos about 20, 30 years ago and decided, oh, we know what's best. We didn't. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, awesome. So, I mean, so, what would you say was the best uh, health optimizing biohack that you can think of? The first one that comes into your mind, would you say, that you would like people to know of? Well, Bulletproof Coffee is really famous. Uh, and I, I will tell you, it, it was a you know, thousand plus little tweaks to figure out the right oil and, and all that. But mm -hmm. there is nothing that I found that for a broader segment of people where they wake up, the first thing in the morning they do that, and everything is different throughout the day. Mm -hmm. It is the ROI on that. You were gonna drink coffee anyway, or maybe mm -hmm. tea, but you can drink coffee so no one's gonna judge you. <laughs> and that difference, for me, at 10 years of doing that every morning, mm -hmm. it's still one of the most important, mm -hmm. biggest things. Mm -hmm. I, I would absolutely agree. I mean, my way into this was hearing about um, bulletproof coffee and having brain fog and being knackered. And one day I did it sat down and worked at home, had a bulletproof coffee, and then I was like, shit, no, it's three o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the afternoon, it's like, I've had the best mind I've ever had, I can't believe what's going on, that was me at my illest, and I was like, wow, I have to look into this biohacking thing and this bulletproof coffee thing, and then it stemmed from there, and like, I didn't realize there was a community for four years. It, um, it's kind of a gateway, there's so many things you can do, and it becomes scary, but look, you were gonna drink coffee anyway, you might as well put your butter, put your brain octane, you get the right beans, it's not that hard, and when you do it, the difference is, it's really big. It's not mm. a small thing. Mm. I mean, people. Many people say to me, "Oh, it's a fad. It's just a brand. It's just a product." And like, wake <laughs> up, guys. Wake that. up. Yeah, wake up. It's like it's caught on for a reason. It's like you can. Yeah. You can. The, the, the thing is, if you have a ball bearing, you have to sell it. You have to push, 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 push because it's a crap product. But when you have a good product, it just spreads because people want it and they realize it works. Um, I would estimate somewhere around 200 million cups of bulletproof coffee have, have been made. And this is the real bulletproof coffee. And how many people put some butter in some coffee? It's still better putting milk in some coffee, but the difference between all the different ingredients in some bulletproof, it's real. Mm -hmm. But this has shifted the coffee industry, which yeah. is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. So, um, well, let me just think what's the best one to go with, because I appreciate we're short on time. So, um, so what's next for biohacking? And, and you specifically? I, I've looked at changing the environment inside of you and around you, and one of the big things that's affecting everyone is toxic mold in our environment. Mm. We have increased heat, which drives mold growth, in our homes, in our mm. businesses, in our cars. And we have increased humidity, uh, we have uh, just uh, lower expenses on electricity. Mm -hmm. So we have an epidemic where there's hundreds of millions of people whose biology is trashed by poisonous mold growing in the walls that they can't see. Mm -hmm. So one of my companies, uh, they started several years ago called Homebiotic, yeah. makes a probiotic you can spray that eats mold as a fuel source. So you inoculate your house just like it would have been inoculated if you lived 100 years ago anyway because of natural airflow, mm -hmm. and suddenly you can reduce your mold and mildew exposure, which is a really important thing. Mm -hmm. uh, True Dark, uh, my company that makes glasses, they're patented lenses for improving sleep quality. Mm -hmm. I measure my sleep every single night and I can double my deep sleep. Mm -hmm. I actually got more than two hours of deep sleep last night, even though I just flew from California time zone over here. Mm -hmm. You can't do two hours of deep sleep on most nights, even mm -hmm. without jet lag. Mm -hmm. So something's working, it's the true dark glasses. Mm -hmm. And uh, so those are other outside environmental things. Bulletproof is continuing to make new and interesting products. Mm -hmm. And uh, 40 years of Zen, my neuroscience company is really, really growing. And we're looking at, okay, if you have enough energy so your brain is turned back on the way Bulletproof Coffee did for you, mm -hmm. What are you going to do? How do you train your brain to actually be better? And all of these are about just stop wasting so much energy on inflammation. Mm -hmm. Stop wasting it on just being tired. And when you have all the energy, how do you focus and direct it into being who you want to be? Mm -hmm. That's a big thing. We have the Human Performance Institute, which is the, mm -hmm. the yeah, Bulletproof yeah. Coaching Perspective. Uh, and I helped to create that program with Dr. Mark. And mm -hmm. this is the, you know, if you want to be a biohacker, you want to be Bulletproof, you go there. Mm -hmm. And so it's just about really mm -hmm. teaching people. And my new book, Superhuman, mm -hmm. is just coming out. How I'm going to live to at least 180 and how other people can do it too. And mm -hmm. 
It's, it sounds crazy. It's not crazy. All The whole biohacking field didn't exist eight years ago, and now look at it. Mm-hmm. And so there's all kinds of cool stuff happening, and it's just a matter of how do we reduce the kryptonite we're exposed to, mm-hmm. and then do the things that increase our performance the most. Mm-hmm. I don't mean performance at work. I mean performance as a human. And what do humans do? We take care of each other. We raise our kids. Uh, we have a community. You know, we love. You know, we, we do things that aren't work. And performing well at those, mm-hmm. do you want to be a good friend or a bad friend? Mm-hmm. I want to be a good friend. That's why I optimize my health and yeah. that's why I biohack. Yeah, I, I, every one of those things that you've mentioned, um, the, the companies you've founded, work with, endorse and all those things, it's funny because a lot of people um, often say, oh well they're just other brands to market, but they're not. The thing is they're strategically cool things that actually work and it's like there's a lot of naysayers out there. I can think oh. of ma- several specific ones, but the point is it's like, <laughs> I love those. Yeah, it's like <laughs> bulletproof coffee. Sure it's a product, but the point is it works. It really does and things like the True Dark, they really, really work. Yeah. I mean like it's such an easily accessible thing to do to optimize your sleep. And like last week I got my sleep score to 97 nice. and that was from using True Dark, like oh. the complete <laughs> military <laughs> grey. Yeah. red light. Yeah, and amazing. it's funny, people say, oh, those are just brand names. Like, guys, mm. what's a patent? Mm. A patent means that the technology is different and protected. Mm-hmm. And my name is on the patents. So yeah, mm. sure, yeah. Well, mm. it, here's what's going on in the biohacking space and in a broader space. There are people who believe so much in something that they put their time and energy and money into making it a reality. Mm -hmm. And that's what a real entrepreneur is. Mm -hmm. And then you get the entrepreneurs who say, that's just a brand, I'm gonna copy it, do a, I don't know if I could say this, do a shittier job, Mm -hmm. make it a little bit cheaper, and then point fingers at the guy who created it. And if you're one of those people, hey, you're probably gonna get spotted and everyone's gonna Mm -hmm. know that you walk like that. So the entrepreneurs copy and cheapen Mm -hmm. and actually make innovation and evolution of humanity hard. Mm -hmm. The people who focus on, I'm gonna find something new Mm. and no one's done it before. Mm. Those are the ones who change the world. Mm. Mm. And if you look at what Bulletproof does, four of the five categories that we're in did not exist as health categories. We created them. You know the market Mm. size for mold-free clean coffee beans? It was zero when when I started Bulletproof. Mm. I had no idea whether anyone wanted it. And now it's a you know multi multi million dollar category. Mm. Functional coffee, mm. no such thing. Mm. Now there is. So <laughs> here's the thing: go out and innovate. And if you look at biohacking, the things you're doing with health optimization, we we've only tapped maybe two percent of what's in the human body. Yeah. Yeah. So you can sit down and say, "Wow, no one ever thought about this. I'm going to do my research. I'm going to read PubMed. I'm going to go out. I'm going to test. I'm going to biohack." And you're going to notice something, and then mm. you can take that and you can take it out there. And then you've actually created new value instead of being a copycat. Yeah, I mean, I, th- I think I, I completely agree about focusing on something and making it very special without necessarily copying. I mean, I think for health optimization, I wanted to pull in the best from the paleo mindset, the best from the bulletproof mindset and the biohacking mm-hmm. and bring it together into a new kind of an umbrella to make it more accessible while still taking, I guess, the best bits from each, but then going, actually, I'm not going to focus on those guys. I'm going to do the best to make it the best I can. That, that's um, evolution. Yeah, that, that's yeah. That's very healthy, yeah. and uh, you know the same thing. Jeez, Atkins diet, mm-hmm. paleo. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Wait, hold on. Keto wasn't that from 1972? Yeah. The first book was written the year mm-hmm. I was born. Yep. <laughs> so it, it, we evolve, which is really good. Just don't cheapen. And if you're going to do it, you you do it with class. Mm-hmm. Which is hey, like, Dave, why don't you come? Why don't you come on in? You know, uh, the guys from Paleo FX, Michelle Keith. Why don't you come on in? So it's actually a community, and we're all working mm-hmm. towards continuing to mm-hmm. improve and dare I say optimize, mm. that's a super healthy giving back perspective. So yeah. I appreciate that about you. Oh, that's cool, thank you. I mean, I, I think, I, I know that you, Michelle and Keith from Paleo FX have got a long history and obviously there's a, a lot of synergy with uh, Martin and Upgrade Labs, obviously. Yeah, um, we spun them out of both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I mean, I think, um, for me, it's about creating unity, saying that we're all stronger together, like let's work mm. collaboratively to let's, instead of like the police, like the ghetto killing each other off, yeah. And um, because it l- gives them less work to do. So I think totally in this space, true. we should club together and go, let's be better together. Let's really fuel and spread, spread health. And I guess that's our, our hashtag, um, spread it, the health. It, it's funny, maybe eight years ago, nine years ago, when I was first coming up with biohacking, there was this very strong paleo movement that said, I'm only going to eat what my ancestors ate. <laughs> and so I got into a debate online with someone or another, and I said, look, Cavemen didn't have mass spectrometers, microscopes, and DNA. Mm. So I believe that my my biohackers are coming for your caves and we have lasers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so we kind of got into this, which is how do we evolve that? 
And I'm you know, dear friends with all the leaders in the paleo movement. Mm -hmm. And we're all in this quadrant of how do we make ourselves better? Mm -hmm. And you know, I guarantee you that there's some, something in the Bulletproof Diet or Headstrong where we're gonna find a new study three years from now that says, you know what, we should take that and tip it 20 degrees to the right or the left. Yeah, yeah. That's how we learn. Mm -hmm. And it's when you get stuck in one mindset that you get stuck. And, and yeah. when you start creating tribalism, mm -hmm. um, you see what happens with that. No one wants tribalism. Yeah, it's awesome. So, I mean, obviously we've, we've partnered with Upgrade Labs and Pay your effects to obviously partner with us on this and it's bigger than just a standard sponsorship it's not I mean it's a it's a partnership to bring the best from around the world together so I mean I, I'm just really interested to know your thoughts about when you'd heard about this crazy crazy idea that we had done together I, I, I was really happy about it because you know I, as the founder and and sort of inventor of the Bulletproof Labs concept, which became Upgrade Labs, mm -hmm. uh, Martin and I went out and got uh, funding uh, for the company and we're really looking at this, how do we make the experience mm -hmm. of being Bulletproof real? And part of the experience there is building community. Mm -hmm. And when Martin came in and said, hey, we have a chance to work with health optimization. I said, this is fantastic because it is a global movement and I've met people from around the globe, both here at Health Optimization Summit and other places I go. It doesn't matter if, if I'm in Abu Dhabi, mm -hmm. uh, Singapore, uh, Switzerland, here, uh, there's a, someone from Estonia. So, so this is happening in every country and people yeah. are just saying, you know what, I'm done. I, mm -hmm. I will not feel this way anymore. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. thank you for making No, no, thank you for happen. coming. I mean, it's really amazing. And like, obviously you draw a crowd as always. It's a really strong crowd. They let absolutely love you as do i i mean it began with you and the thank mindset you. so thank you very much for coming to london and supporting us well, this year. thank thank you for working with upgrade labs and mm. working with bulletproof and me and just getting the word out that this is this is about meeting people mm. it's about connecting with people mm. and learning some new stuff but really mm. looking around and saying i'm not the only one who puts butter in my coffee i'm not the only one who <laughs> cares a lot about my health to the point that i'm willing to do something mm. about it mm. yeah thank you dave it's awesome it. enjoy london mind the gap <laughs> <laughs>